Welcome back to Saturday Agenda. We're going to take a look right now at the current war on Ukraine. We're going to bring in retired U.S. Air Force Brigadier General, former U.S. Deputy Military Rep to NATO, and Newsmax contributor Blaine Holt. Also with us is the former DIA intelligence officer, CIA intelligence officer, and author of Putin's Playbook, Russia's Secret Plan to Defeat America, Rebecca Koffler. And of course, we also have with us our Newsmax contributor on set, Deneen Borelli. Well, um, great to have you with us, panel. General Holt, I want to get to you on this. How pivotal is this news right now that Ukraine is making progress on its air defense right now against Russia's string of missiles that we've seen? It's extremely important. It's great to be with you all. Um, we're seeing, and right now, Ukraine is claiming that the Patriot missile system has defeated um, one of the Kinzhal hypersonics missiles. If that's true, that's a really big deal. Um, and we're seeing the counteroffensive is now pretty much underway. Uh, it looks like the Russians are ceding territory near Zaporizhia, uh, that they're regrouping and pulling back. Uh, the Russians had quite a blow in unity this week with uh, Prigozhin and the Wagner group actually threatening to pull out of the, the war entirely. And so the Russian army is really kind of on its back heel right now. Now, this is all going to come down to logistics from uh, the West, EU, NATO countries. Will Ukraine have what it needs to prosecute this campaign uh, uh, to something very meaningful? And that's what we're going to have to see next. But the cost imposition is going up. Great points there. Um, Rebecca, Ukraine also appears to be making a lot of momentum on the ground, especially after this news of the head of Russia's private military company, as, as uh, General Holt was just referring to, is now threatening to pull out of Bakhmut, not only because they're running out of ammunition, but also because they're starting to have less faith in Russia's military leadership. Um, this is actually a point, Rebecca, that you discuss in your book. So what is happening right now to Putin's plan. Is his playbook falling apart here? Oh, uh, I regret to inform you, absolutely not. Uh, yes, I agree with uh, uh, General Holt that uh, Ukrainians have been fighting valiantly and they're displaying, you know, tremendous uh, tactical brilliance. But look, tactical brilliance does not translate into victory. And we just see the same repeat, uh, the same playbook that Ukrainians have adopted from the Pentagon. We've seen this movie before in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Libya. Uh, weaponry and technology do not win wars, strategy does. And while Putin's playbook is uh, heavy on strategy and they're not tactical, tactically, as competent and brilliant. His strategy is the war of attrition. And that's how Russia wins wars, right? And the fact that there's a tremendous disparity in forces and in the population. Russia has 143 million and Ukraine has 43. So the Russians have that much more flesh to throw into the meat grinder. And this war is unwinnable for Ukrainians. So in that respect, I respectfully disagree with uh, with the general. Deneen, I want you to weigh in, if you can, on sort of the optics of all of this right now, especially as, as again, the war continues to drone on um, more than 400 days into Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Well, it's, it's pretty shocking, actually. This has been going on for far too long. The images are really heartbreaking, and to see how the families and uh, children have been separated or family members killed, it's just really uh, sad to see and very tragic. General Hold, and I also want to get your response to Rebecca's comments a little bit here, too, and, um, and perhaps Russia's strategy going forward, but also, um, a, a, again, how you see the next month or so of this conflict playing out. Yeah, so it's really dangerous. The, the Ukrainians are going to try to split um, east from west and, and cut off Russian forces from Crimea. Again, it's going to come down to uh, logistics, and you know I, I, I get what Rebecca's saying, but um, the, there's a lot more to this. There's logistics, there's strategy, uh, but there's no walk in the park for Putin either. Uh, under a lot of pressure, it's very, very. Uh, let's just say the probabilities are that Russia staged a uh, a false flag with that drone attack near the Kremlin. 
and is trying to shape opinions in Russia. It's just blow for blow. Does the West have what it takes logistically to support Ukraine in this, or does it not? And I'm very worried that Rebecca may be right, that the logistics tale won't be there. It's not about tactics, it's about logistics. And and if they have the logistics and the weapons, the Ukrainian army will get this to some place that's acceptable to both sides. I just don't see that there's going to be any outright victory for either side. Yeah. All right, retired Brigadier General Blaine Holt and Rebecca Koffler, thank you for being with us.